this is a... Oh, come on, Lauren. Don't be so dramatic. We still have a whole spring semester to host WC Weekly. You're right, and I sure can't wait. Welcome back, Rams, to our last episode of WC Weekly of the 2022 year. I'm your host, Lauren Beachy. And I'm Courtney Medwin. We've had so much fun hosting this show for all of you and showing off all our amazing talent and segments and costumes. Clearly, Lauren didn't get the memo. I know. I kind of look like Scrooge. But before we get a little too excited, let's take a look at some campus news. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Winter commencement ceremonies will take place this Saturday and Sunday. Each graduate may request up to six tickets for guests, but they are not guaranteed, so make sure to request them. To view the graduation ceremony schedule, parking details, and more, head over to wcupa.edu slash commencement. Getting into the holiday spirit, the annual 100 Wheels Project event has started in their mission of building bicycles for children during the holidays. On December 3rd, the project kicked off at an event where volunteers of all ages came together and made over 100 bikes. Since 2008, over 1,000 bikes have been provided. Yeah, we sure have had a lot of fun, sometimes too much fun. Let's take a look back at some of Lauren and I's best moments this semester. Are we going? What's your goat's Thanksgiving dinner? Hmm. And Woo! I can't. <laughs> Rest, relax, and prepare for the for la Sorry. Did you print something for the 3D? I don't know. Whatever. Musicians. <laughs> and it's free and open to the public. No tickets required. <laughs> So much for watching and we will be back next Monday with more WC Weekly. <laughs> okay. uh... Off, I'm Lauren Beach and I'm Courtney Medwin. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for tuning into this show's week. Okay. UPA.edu dash commitment. Con con yeah, we sure have a, wait, wait, what? We sure, we sure have had a lot of fun. Okay. Relaxing with my friends and fa family. Why am I doing that? Okay. Okay, why did we say absolutely six times? Yes, we hope you make your voice heard and we see you on the polls, at the polls. Sadly, that is all the time we have, but we have a great show ahead of us. <laughs> did I mess up? Way through this fall, or only. <laughs> hey, have you taken the sus sus No. What? Only two more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no! Can you shrink the font a little bit more? It's a little bit. Weeks, updates, and behind the scenes. We hope everyone has a great week. Signing off, I'm Lauren Beachy. <laughs> and I think one of our New Year's resolutions should be to be less giggly. Yeah, I agree. With that, let's send it over to Jamie one last time with the weather. Hello, Westchester University. My name is Jamie Simons, and I'm here to give you a look at this week's weather forecast. The official last day of classes will be mostly cloudy with a high of 41. It will be pretty chilly later in the day with our low dropping down to 26. Finals kick off on Tuesday with Mother Nature on your side. It will be sunny all day long with a high of 45 and a low of 24. Wednesday, the clouds return covering most of the sun from yesterday. We'll have a high of 43 and our low is finally out of the 20s and into the low 30s. As we finish up the week, the weather will take a turn. We'll see periods of rain on Thursday with a high of 49 and a low of 31. As we wrap up this semester on Friday, it will be pretty gloomy with periodic showers throughout the day. Still chilly with a high of 41 and a low of 29. But don't fret, the weather will clear for commencement this weekend. For WCU Weekly, I'm Jamie Simons, and that's all for this week's five-day weather forecast. I hope everyone has a great finals week, and enjoy your winter break, Westchester. Here is a quick recap of our very own Westchester Rock Climbing Club, who competed in the annual Golden Rampage competition hosted at the Rec Center. Climbers competed in men's and women's beginner, intermediate, and advanced divisions before the top scoring climbers moved on to the finals. The Golden Rams placed in the top three in the men's and women's advanced division, as well as the men's intermediate, men's beginner, and women's beginner. Way to go, Rams. What's up, Rams? I'm Jordan King, here to give you this week's sports update. 
To recap, our men's basketball team beat Holy Family 80-60 in their game last week. Men's and women's track competed in their season opener at the Wagner Seahawks shootout. Way to go Rams! As for current sports, we only have men's and women's basketball currently competing. Both are headed to the West for games this weekend. First on Saturday, the women play at 1 o'clock at Pittsburgh Johnstown, followed by the men at 3. Sunday, they will be at IUP for a game at 5.30 and the men at 8.30. That's it for this week's sports update. We'll be back in January with everything you need to know in athletics. Signing off, I'm Jordan King. What a great last show of the year. We can't wait to see you all in the new year and show you everything we have in store. As always, make sure to follow us on Instagram at WCU.Weekly to keep up to date with us, especially over the break. Have a safe and happy holidays, Rams. Signing off, I'm Courtney Medwin. And I'm Lauren Beachy.